catch up for the first time this year with Stratford upon Avon movie reviewer James Luxford, our movie critic for a Thursday morning. Happy New Year, James. Happy New Year and good morning. Great to have you uh, with us uh, this morning uh, and some movie recommendations from you, uh, starting with a, well, uh, a Netflix uh, recommendation. Absolutely. A, uh, a Netflix original movie, uh, which is out from today on the streaming service. It's Pieces of a Woman. The Crown star Vanessa Kirby and Shia LaBeouf play a couple devastated by the loss of their child and struggling to keep together in the aftermath of uh, this traumatic event. I wanted to stay at home. She sounds really good. Hi, baby. I wanted the baby to decide when she wanted to come. My daughter came into this world. For the time that she did. I can't bring her back. There are miles between us. Martha, is that you? How are you? Time between us. The 60 to 70% of these cases, we rarely find a satisfactory explanation. There is something between us. Certain things medically we just don't have answers for. It's called uh, Peace of a Woman, and it's on uh, Netflix. Any good, uh, James? Um, yes, it's very well acted. I have to say it is very hard going, uh, a tough watch, particularly if you've been affected by this subject or, or you know, it, it, a parent. Or it, it, it's just a very difficult subject to cover that doesn't really get covered too much in movies because it is, I suppose, so taboo. It's something that still isn't talked about much, but I think that's a good thing. What a great movie does is bring these subjects up. Fantastic performances from Vanessa Kirby and uh, Shia LaBeouf and Ellen Burstyn, who plays Vanessa Kirby's mother. Um, uh, as I say, hard going, but uh, very worthwhile if you want to watch a very thought provoking film. And Shia, Shia LaBeouf showing all the time that he's uh, he's developing, he's moving on from sort of some of the more, more sort of you know teen based roles that he's probably been known for, uh, and uh, and he's increasingly looking like he's got more depth as an actor, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's very good here, but um, for me, it's it's a breakout performance from Vanessa Kirby. Uh, just such a difficult role to play, but um, uh, just managing to move all of those complex uh, emotions together and, and Charlotte Buff does a very good job of complementing that as a partner who is maybe going in a different direction. Uh, Pieces of a Woman it's on Netflix uh, out as from today. Uh, your next choice uh, is something you can watch on the iPlayer. Yes, Spider-Man Homecoming on iPlayer now. Tom Holland takes over the Peter Parker role, a.k.a. Spider-Man, a young superhero who is uh, mentored by Iron Man, played by Robert Downey Jr. So to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Oh. All right. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling rough. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. Spider-Man. Spider no, I'm not. Homecoming, uh, and uh, you know, in the, in the vein of those sort of superhero movies, it sort of ticks another box, then, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, Tom Holland is great in the in the role, in the lead role. This is a, uh, I think, the uh, third actor in modern times to take over the role and he brings something different to it uh the film itself is in a kind of a john hughes 80s high school movie sort of vein uh something a bit lighter in as a part of the avengers universe uh, great uh great effects great adventure uh, and a wonderful villain as well in former batman actor michael keaton as uh, the vulture who is is sort of a the the uh, the first foe that he comes up against. 
Uh, final pick. Uh, it may be January. You may be in the midst of a global pandemic, but uh, the uh, the movie world is already thinking about the Academy Awards and this year's Oscars. And this looks like being uh, one that might feature. Yes, it is. The Wife, starring uh, Glenn Close. It was uh, nominated. She was nominated for an Oscar for this drama, playing the wife of a celebrated writer whose deepest secrets emerge on the biggest night of their lives. Next time I introduce you, try a little eye contact. And next time, don't refer to me as your son, the half-baked writer. You shouldn't need my approval to write. Everyone needs approval, Joe. Hello? Am I speaking to Mr. Gosselman? I'd like my wife to get on the extension. Hello, I'm on. It is my great honor to tell you, Mr. Gosselman, that you have been chosen to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. Tell me this isn't some great big fat joke. It's all real, darling. <laughs> Breathe. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glenn Close, what's she like in this, James? Uh, she's fantastic, and uh, it, it's just it's her movie, and uh, uh, just a a slow burn of a movie with all of these secrets bubbling up as the uh, Nobel Prize ceremony starts to. Uh, Go, move forward. Jonathan Price there, who you just heard as the husband, uh, terrific as um, as a brilliant writer, but also someone who maybe is a, he's a little bit too full of himself, maybe believes his own hype a little bit too much, and uh, the secrets between the two begin to become too much to, uh, to, to suppress. Glenn Close, uh, she's always brilliant, one of those actors who I think is uh, just wonderful in anything she does, and uh, it's, it, that's, this is showing on Friday at 9pm on BBC2, I think it's well worth a watch. Good stuff. Uh, The Wife, uh, tomorrow night, 9 o'clock on BBC Two. James, appreciate it. Thanks so much. James Luxford, movie critic uh, from Stratford-upon-Avon with us this morning. From the BBC Sounds app.